country. But today, Disney announced they're launching a new business to develop residential communities. Mm -hmm. A.K.A. Cities by Disney. That's actually kind of a cool name. Cities by Disney is not trademarked as far as I know. Right here, today, you guys heard it. Can you trademark something with another YouTube. name that's trademarked? I'm not trademarking their invention. I'm trademarking the name. Cities by Disney. Yeah, but Disney probably is trademarked. Well, I don't see it yet. So anyway, so this <laughs> this this business plan to develop residential communities, it goes as follows. I don't know if you can hear above me. There is a plane over my house right now. It's probably Disney and they're probably coming after me. Um, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I just lost my place. I am the most unprofessional person there is out there. Um, but they, they stated for nearly a hundred years, Disney has shared stories that have touched the hearts and minds of people all around the world. As we prepare to enter our second century. Wow. That's insane. That's nuts. Um, we are developing new and exciting ways to bring the magic of Disney to people wherever they are. Expanding storytelling to story living, which is the name of these communities. Mm. Uh, we mm -hmm. can't wait to welcome residents to these beautiful and unique Disney communities where they can live their, f where they can live lives to the fullest. At each location, including some neighborhoods for residents ages fifty-five and plus, Disney cast members will be trained, or they're trained in the company's legendary. I am sorry. Now this isn't even a quote anymore. But basically, what this is saying is cast members will be trained in guest services. There will be cast members there in these cities, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. There will be restaurants. Mm -hmm. There will be dining. Um, I'm kind of imagining a downtown Disney for anyone that's been there, but like, that's just the downtown part. Now expand mm -hmm. that into right. a city. Um, it goes on to say in this article, Disney Imagineers are explore exploring the richness of each lo local region to inspire the theme of the story living by Disney communities. Um distinctively designed indoor and outdoor spaces will offer residents new opportunities to explore, engage and create the next incredible chapter of their story. You can find this full article over at the Walt Disney company.com. And there's a little short like a minute and a half video. Um, I almost got me kind of emotional watching this. I don't know. Like at first when I heard the story, it was a little, I won't say weird to me, but like, I didn't know how to feel about it. Right. I was right. like, is this too much? Is this weird? Um, I already know people are going to complain. There's already people that complain about adults going to oh, Disney yeah. by themselves. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I, I'm clearly I am on the opposite side of that. I love it, but you know, reading this and watching the video, like it kind of gets me excited. I, I Disney's been so innovated, innovative, and they've contributed so much. I feel like to technology. I mean, look what the Mandalorian mm -hmm. has done with the sets, you know, movie and TV sets. Um, you know, they're expanding. I, literally, Disney, and this was not literally planned, but like Disney came up with Epcot. Um, and it was a prototype world. It was literally its prototype community of tomorrow. I'm blanking on the first word. Uh -huh. Um, like that's what it was designed for. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and now we're almost gonna get this in a way, right? Right. And this is like real life Epcot. Um, I know as an engineer, you probably have some thoughts on this. Yeah. Uh, of these cities being designed by Disney. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. And I don't think it's going to be the last kind of thing that we see. Um, I think it is a direction that will continue. You got to think. So these kind of plane developments like that. So I'm a civil engineer. I do land development as my career. Um, so smaller scale than stuff like this. But kind of urban planning, urban design. That's something I've always been interested in. Um, so it's, I have plenty of thoughts on like the general, like, like concept of doing something like this. Um, I think it's a really cool sustainability idea because when you have a planned development like this, you can make good decisions as you kind of lay out your living communities. You can build these neighborhoods in such a way that make them walkable, um, really livable. You can have solar a lot in a lot better access because you get to like Disney is deciding where things are going to go. And when you can do that, that's when you have, you know, cities that function really well. Um, th this is interesting because it's only like, it's only going to be wealthy people there. Like, 
This is a pure, yeah. like, yeah, almost like recreational decision to make. I don't know where these people will work. Or if you just kind of have to be like retired or have some sort of career slash income plan that allows you to almost be separated from other parts of society, right? Like I, I'm guessing well, they, they will build these massive high rises that have office space and they'll bring in companies. Um, you know, they'll partner with mm -hmm. the, you know, probably not. I don't think they'll partner with the Amazons and the Googles first to bring jobs of those kind there, because I think Am the Amazons and the Googles are working on doing this themselves. They want developments and cities planned around their work locations. So it's like, it's a cool concept. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out and to see if it just ends up being like a bunch of rich people that own vacation homes there <laughs> where you can Airbnb right. to go stay. You know what I mean? I don't know what it's going right. to function like. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, I know they've kind of marketed it towards people that don't want to, they always want to be around that Disney magic. I am one mm -hmm. of those people. Like I know for a fact, um, like that's I, I want to be around that vibe. Like it just it's a it's a whole thing. It's a whole vibe. Like I I I, I understand it. Um, the first one they are actually going to be building was called uh, Cotino, and I just lost my place on the article again. Um, it's going to be called Cotino. That is the first one. It will have a section uh, ex expressively for adults fifty five and plus, but it'll also include mm -hmm. things um, different home buying options like. Um, estates, single family homes, condominiums, like it, there's going to be a variety. Yes, it is not going to be cheap. I just, I don't no. see how this is going to be cheap. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. There's some concept art you guys should check out if you haven't heard about this already. Um, again, this whole project's called Story Living, which is fun. Um, I kind of like it. If anyone here has watched. Uh, once upon a time i know you have they live mm -hmm. in storybrook yeah <laughs> i like so i like that uh -huh. um also yeah. took me two viewings of that show to realize it was a play off a of storybook i'm not stupid it's fine um <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun um but no this is it's fascinating and the fact that you said amazon and google and stuff are looking to do this too or, or more like most likely are looking to do this mm -hmm. didn't even think about that yeah but you're right you're you're right i'm actually surprised disney's kind of the first one to get this going mm -hmm. but it kind of makes sense though too yeah because with, and and it, i mean it happens naturally with amazon and google and that's kind of that's probably the difference is they don't really like have to build their own stuff because they can just put up a manufacturing plant or put up a whatever they want and the people will come and then the development will yeah. come but um, same kind of same concept. Yeah. 